Hey soul family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot and in today's reading we're taking a look at your divine guidance on an important romantic connection in your life. And to do that today we'll be picking between three tarot cards from this deck. If you prefer to pick your piles using your zodiac signs you'll find uh, a timestamp to that down in the description box which will take you straight to the part of the introduction where we shuffle your zodiac signs and find out in which of the piles they're going to fall under but if you prefer to pick your piles using your intuition stick around we'll be drawing three tarot cards from this deck and if you prefer to pick your piles using your intuition sorry your uh, crystals i'll be adding those in just a moment once the cards are revealed okay so I feel like the cards have come out. What is your divine guidance on an important romantic connection in your life? Let's check out the cards. So for pile number one, you have the nine of cups. For pile number two, you have the ace of wands. And for pile number three, you have the Two of Swords. As mentioned, if you prefer to pick your piles using crystals, let me add these right now. There we go. So for pile number one, you have the Mukite Jasper. And this is what your crystal looks like. For pile number two, you have the red jasper. And this is what it looks like. And for pile number three, you have the lapis lazuli. And this is what your crystal looks like. So take a look at which one of these three piles or three crystals you're the most drawn to. And this or these will be the piles for you here today. Um, there are different ways you can do this. You can pick one pile for the person that you have in mind. But in case you feel like you're drawn to several piles, perhaps there are uh, other complementary messages equally important that you're meant to hear about this person that you have uh, on your mind found in another pile that you're drawn to. And once you're ready, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your times and I will see you in your readings. In a moment, I am about to assign different zodiac signs to each pile. And so if this is something that you do not prefer, uh, please pause the video, take as much time as you need. And as mentioned, I will see you in your readings. But if you prefer to pick your piles using your zodiac signs, then my dear soul family, this specific part of the introduction was created specially for you and what i like to do is shuffle your zodiac signs really well and we'll be drawing out four zodiac signs for each pile okay so let's draw out the first four signs for pile number one one two three Four. So the signs are Pisces, Aries, Sagittarius, and Taurus. For pile number two, the signs are Scorpio, Libra, 
Cancer and Gemini. And for pile number three, the signs are Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, and Aquarius. So, my dear soul family, these are the zodiac signs and their association to each of the piles in today's reading. Please feel free to pick your piles using your sun, moon, or rising. I highly recommend you check out the three. Uh, there could be uh, more messages with regards to the person that you have in mind uh, in another pile. Alternatively, you can pick your pile using your partner or person in mind um, rather than yours. It's really all up to you. And a third way you can go about today's reading is to pick using your Venus sign. If you're like, I'm confused, I don't know, if I don't intuitively right away know whether I should pick using my sign or their sign, go with your Venus sign. It's the best way to do it. Uh, see what your Venus sign is in your chart and go with that. And my dear soul family, these are the different ways in which you can pick your piles, a pile or piles in today's reading. Um, I just like to keep it diverse so that you can pick using your preferred method. And once you're ready, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your times and I will see you in your readings. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. Today, we're taking a look at divine guidance on your romantic and important romantic connection in your life. And to do that, these are the oracle decks that we will be using in today's reading. You guys sometimes ask me, uh, what deck am I using? I always list them down in the description box for you guys right under the timestamps. And let me introduce your pile. Your crystal is the beautiful Mukite Jasper. You've got the Nine of Cups. And if you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Pisces, um, Aries, Sagittarius, and Taurus. Welcome to your reading. If these are not your zodiac signs, please do not worry about them. They are not the official zodiac signs of this pile. They are simply a way for others to pick their piles as well. Okay. So let's put them to the side and take a look at your cards. I think I'm going to push this up a little bit. Whoops. And create space. So you have Hagalaz, the Hagalaz rune uh, with chaos, destruction, renewal. <clears throat> you have Hile. All right. It's interesting. I saw the Nine of Cups and I thought, ooh, this is going to be so romantic. And it maybe is definitely. But it does look like there are underlying things that you want to take care of. Especially that Hille is the Norse goddess of the underworld. So it is looking good. You just want to be careful with some things that might arise or that you are actually sensing, right? So let's take care of that today hopefully in today's reading you have zoom out how interesting oh maybe it's the other way around maybe you are focused too focused on some things that could potentially affect the connection i think i should wait <laughs> and see your cards first so you have zoom out the big picture can reveal a lot of answers truths and unexpected connections Try taking a step back. Very interesting. Okay. You have seduction. Okay. Hmm. You have, ah, Libra. 
Venusian energy. So you have the mediator, fair, people pleaser, balanced, sociable, sensible, diplomatic, polished, easygoing, fickle, indecisive, harmonious, uh, self-indulgence, ruler of, of the seventh house. And finally, you have the rune Uruz with strength, health, and transition. Okay. Let's pick up your tarot deck and see what is your divine guidance on this important romantic connection in your life. Okay, so let's take a look at your cards. You have the Knight of Wands. The Six of Swords. The Page of Cups. Mm. The Knight of Cups. The Judgment card. The Hierophant. The Star card. The Seven of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles. And finally, the tower card. Well, Well, now that we have the cards on the table, it seems like this connection has certainly go, gone through a lot. I'm glad I waited. And I think it's the other way around, actually. I feel like this connection is starting to actually heal this is why this is your significator card not that it's a card of healing but the combination of the two cards are kind of giving me this idea so what i see here is that this connection started out with a lot of attraction specifically physical attraction with the knight of wands and the seduction card also you know the uh, mermaid reminds me of in water reminds me of the siren you know i feel like there was a huge uh, physical attraction in this connection also libra is venusian energy um its beauty is attraction so yeah there was initially there's definitely a, a lot of emotions a lot of emotional uh, emotions involved in this connection there's no doubt about that but it seems to me that here this is a connection that began in such a strong way with like being hypnotized by physical beauty now it seems like a lot has happened in this connection as i uh, mentioned and look at the tower card here. I mean, you guys have been through a lot. You can also see it here in the Hagalaz rune, destruction, chaos, but it's also, of course, a card of renewal, which I'll be getting into in a moment. And to see the type of destruction that happened in this connection, you'd think uh this is uh, like over right but it's far from over in uh, in your reading here in this pile you can see a clear new beginning with the ace of pentacles and there are many cards that are showing that it's actually a beginning oh i forgot to tell you why i i feel like uh, you've been through a lot it's not just through how 
scary this tower card looks but also because you've got on double which uh, is the cow that was first um that was that emerged is the right word that emerged after uh, a, a, cat a cataclysm they say the cataclysm between the ice and fire uh, maybe you two are very different from each other and this is what created this uh, abruption of uh, chaos in your connection but also uh, Ondubla is like the primordial cow uh, that nourishes nourishes the first giant so you can see that although you two have been through a lot and maybe you uh, due to strong emotions, strong attractions, heightened emotions, you could have like really went head to head um, against each other. M maybe this is like saying things you shouldn't have said or they said things they shouldn't have said. It was crazy. Very super, super like emotional, not in a nice way, right? But you can definitely see that your guidance is that this is far from over. You know, mistakes have happened. You all, everyone makes mistakes and that's why you have the Hierophant, which is a major arcana card speaking about learning, right? Learning your lessons and specifically your spiritual lessons and how this connection is helping you both grow spiritually. Also, the Judgment card is a card of uh, rising above a situation, which you have here with the zoom out. So your divine guidance is um, you two have been through a lot. Maybe you've said a lot of things to each other that may not have, shouldn't have been said or done. But it's really a time to not focus on the little things, but to focus on the big pictures. The big picture could be things like, what are your boundaries? What are the things that you should not let go of and discuss? And the things, you know, the, the petty things to let go of. Uh, how to discuss things with each other so that these pet, think, pettiful things don't happen again. That's why you have Libra with the mediator. It's finding balance and the right diplomatic and sensible way to connect with each other. Um, you can see that this connection with the Six of Swords is now moving from turbulent energy to calmer waters. Because, you know, with the Page of Cups, I get a, a sense that this is um, sweet, innocent, I don't want to say puppy love, that's more related to the Six of Cups, but but it's, you know, it has this uh, innocent, sweet essence to it. You know, <laughs> there is, yes, there is innocence here. Although a lot of destructive things have happened and have been said, but really down to the core, I feel like both of you have an innocence to you. Uh, both of you want to reach out with love. There's a, a lot of love here in this connection, although it really started off with a lot of uh, physical attraction. But, you know, actually, I'm getting the idea that it's, it was both a lot of physical attraction and a lot of uh, sweet love going on <laughs> here. So that's the essence is there. And so... Your divine guidance is to truly start planting the right seeds and the right way of connecting with each other, to start a new page together in the right way. Uh, I do see the car here in the tower card moving away from this destruction, reminding me of the chariot. I feel like your divine guidance is move past that, move past this energy of destruction, not by, you know, putting it behind and, and abusing each other again or whatever the destructive energy here was, but it's to mindfully plant this new beginning. 
how to plant the new beginning your guidance with the seven of cups is to don't is to dream big don't limit your connection to what you see as its reality because it has so much potential with the seven of cups in conjunction to the star card this connection can, can become your dream come true when it comes to relationships and you know hierophant also is a card of marriage if you're not already married to this person then this is definitely saying this could lead to a happy marriage um and so to do that with the seven of cups you're being guided to dream big with this connection because when you dream big then you will be able to set the right standards for it it's like uh, i know we have trouble communication but what if we found a system together and made it so that we communicate in the best way ever every single time like whatever happens on the outside happens but our communication is not touched and um that I, if we're not happy we can leave each other in peace through communicating with each other that this is not working and maybe we should like um part ways in the worst case scenario like the, the, these are just my ideas by the way you don't have to take these ideas whatever the situation is in your relationship the cards here this was just an example to translate the cards the cards here are saying dream big see what you two would love to see your connection at and start a new page by planting the seeds in how you want to see your connection in the best way how does it look like and start communicating with each other uh, on how to do that and don't give up so quickly it's a learning uh, path with the hierophant you know allow for nurture to happen uh, for things to not work right so that you take the feedback and do it in the right way and so um, to be able to do all of that the first guidance is to zoom out to rise above what's not important and to focus on what is important to have that discussion together because you're definitely with the nine of cups being your significator card the star you know this is like uh the star and the hierophant a commitment or a connection that could be the dream that you want it just might need working uh, together to do it you know there's a poem related uh, connected to the nine of cups how about we read this together um, and see what this poem says so it says indulgence <laughs> i spare no expenses to indulge in the senses i want what i am worth the very best of earth bring to me the warmth the merry and the mirth you know, I get the strong sense, bring to me the best of earth. Uh, I want what I want. I am worth the very best of earth. And that's why you have the seven of cups is to don't minimize what you want. That's the star card. You are worth getting the best, whatever that is, uh, that is not in this connection at the moment. And so both of you actually, both of you deserve that so see what the best is and um try to make it for yourself you know the nine of cups you know it, it, it's right and indulge in the senses in the senses remember what the beautiful things are about this connection and start reconnecting in this way uh you you do seem to be two people who are very attracted to each other who have a love a lot of love for each other so start in, indulging in that because you know if you were away from each other these are the very things that you would miss about this connection so now that it's there and hopefully forever why don't you enjoy that part of this beautiful connection that you have together and so i feel with Hille, the underworld it's like bring out the things that you haven't discussed that yet the difficult subjects that you don't want to discuss bring them out to the surface deal with them kindly once and for all and start enjoying your connection together 
especially that this connection, although has been through a lot, can get out to the other side with Anubis, who is the guard between the whole way of this world and the other way. So you can see that there is another way in another world that you can live in. You can get past that. The guardedness is to discuss it properly. Um, you know, put like agree that both of you would give each other the best because you both deserve it. And you can see that through proper nurture with Odumbla, you can make this connection work. Proper communication, proper nurture, proper vision, proper vision for the two of you. And planting the seeds right this time will take this connection to awesome places. My dear pile number one, there's so much potential in this connection. There's so much love between the two of you and it genuinely can go to a beautiful place if you nurture it, both of you, uh, well. And my dear pile number one, this is exactly what I see in your reading uh, as to your divine guidance on this important romantic connection in your life. I wish you the best of luck with this connection. <laughs> May you reach this wonderful stage soon. This was your reading. And if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And also do note that there are now memberships when you click on the join button below this vid video. There is also, I've also left a link to it first thing in the, in the description box to make it easier for you to find. You become part of the Soul Family memberships and it's honestly a great way to support me if you can and decide to do so. I thank you so much. It does make a difference. Thank you for so much for everyone who decided to, to support me in this way. I appreciated sending you guys so much love and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye! Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. Your crystal is the beautiful red jasper. Your significator card is the ace of wands. And if you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Scorpio. Oh, I feel this one. Libra, Cancer, and Gemini. Welcome to your reading. If these are not your zodiac signs, um, please don't worry about them. They are not the official signs of the pile. They're just a way for others to pick their piles as well. Okay, I also feel this one, so let's take that. And finally, let's pull out your last oracle card. I feel this one. So let's take this one as well. And let's check your cards. So you have examine. It says, take a closer look. What you are dealing with may appear complicated, but there will always be a thread of truth. How interesting. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Just making sure it's YouTube safe. It says it's uh, Burkana Makstara, the rune Burkana uh, in reverse. And the keywords are crone, stagnation, lack of growth. You have initiation. It's interesting that you have initiation as well as the Ace of Wands. Okay, and you have Capricorn. Ah, the keywords are C E O O O O. <laughs> so the keywords actually are, that's the main keyword. Uh, the keywords are driven, stability, patience, persistence, materialistic, ambitious, cautious, practical, traditional workaholic, detached, and of course, ruler of the 10th house. All right, so let's pick up your tarot deck to get a real understanding of 
what is your divine guidance on this important romantic connection in your life because i'm already seeing synchronicities in your oracle cards but they're not enough for me to pick up what's going on and what your guidance is so what is your divine guidance on this important romantic connection in your life so you have the nine of wands the strength card hmm. the four of wands the three of swords the five of pentacles the devil card and the four of swords you almost feel like this is the extension of that wall so what is going on here before we continue taking a look at the rest of your cards you definitely have something a strong message here with the nine of wands and the strength card especially that they are in conjunction to capricorn nine of wands is the wounded warrior you can see that someone has been running for a long while they knows the right thing and so perhaps they're tired but they're continuing to reach their goal of the day because that's the right thing to do for their health and their muscles and then you have the strength card right next to it so whatever the situation is i kind of get a strong message of not giving up although you could be going through difficulties at the moment that are painful i really feel you're being guided to stay strong and to continue in this connection uh, with a lot of patience but uh, persistence at the same time you can see here with the four of wands and the three of swords two realities in this connection perhaps there is a lot of love a lot of things that happened between the two of you that were so good but at the same time with the three of swords there's also a lot of pain going on in this connection and the devil card here shows that there's something toxic that's affecting this connection first off with the five of pentacles with spare any i need there are so many unmet needs in this connection also another factor because the devil is drawn on the wall so i'm getting an idea that the toxicity could be the location like maybe it's a toxic place maybe the people around you are too involved maybe there's something about the location if i'm not mistaken that could also be adding on to the stress but the ace of wands and the initiation card suggests strongly suggests that there could be a very strong um new beginning in this connection full of fire and full of passion if you decide and your guidance is very clear here it says take a closer look what are you deal what you are dealing with may appear complicated but there will always be a thread of truth so maybe you don't know where to start it may seem complicated this connection from the outside but your guidance is if you take a closer look 
you may be able to understand the situation. And understanding the situation is the first diagnosis. You can even see here with the Four of Swords, it's almost like don't listen to the noise, don't listen to what's going on uh, at the on the outside for now. Focus with the Four of Swords is like take a break and focus on understanding the situation better. You can see someone sitting down and writing, journaling. I feel like this is an invitation to pause, not take action, but to reflect and to actually think deeper, to take the time to think deeper. What is going on to examine the situation, to see the practice, the practical things that could be done to first make things calmer and more peaceful and to perhaps start growing, maybe rekindling is a word that I kept keep hearing and I keep channeling from the very beginning. I didn't say it, but it's a word that I keep hearing, keep hearing, rekindle, rekindle. So maybe maybe you two aren't talking to each other perhaps why there's the initiation and the ace of wands i almost feel here like you're being guided not to give up on this connection that you can grow loyal to each other you are two strong characters um it just needs a bit of reflection to understand how you can practically deal with each other let's continue with the cards this is my initial understanding of the energies that i'm seeing and this card keeps moving it's almost like you need a break because there's so much toxicity going on at the moment there needs to be a break uh, like f for everyone to calm down you have the queen of wands The Nine of Swords. The Lover's Card. Wow, the Ten of Pentacles. And the World Card. So nice. I was going to put another card, but I felt like the world card was saying that's enough. You see how with the world card, everyone is rallying with different flags. Could it be that the misunderstanding is because you come from different countries uh, or there are one type of difference or, or the other between the two of you? could be saying that you come from two different worlds and either like um, literally or metaphorically speaking but your biggest advice here with the queen of wands is to speak up but you can see here that the queen of wands although very outspoken seems to be very gentle and graceful so i feel here that your cards cards are guiding you after some good reflection and examination of understanding the situation properly speak up confidently yet gracefully and nine of swords there are things perhaps that are off boundaries that you haven't been speaking about openly it might bring anxiety speaking about them it might bring stress speaking about them but i feel like here it's necessary to speak about those things that you may have been covering up because they they have been making you both uncomfortable so it's time to speak boldly about them but to speak about them gracefully because i feel like this will rekindle the love that I kept hearing, rekindle, rekindle. I feel like it will rekindle the love between the two of you. 
and that you can come back together. It's a matter of choice. Um, if you ch both choose that you want this to work and understand why there was stagnation, why there was lack of growth, understand that you both are powerful characters, that you are tired, but you are willing to continue to do the right and necessary thing for the both of you, it will, it will work out between the two of you. In fact, with the Ten of Pentacles, you can see that you are going to be um, feeling very blessed in this connection. You can make it a connection um, that is super blessed if you both decide or choose to do the right thing. This connection with the Capricorn needs patience, needs persistence, needs for both of you to be both ambitious and cautious to make it work little by little. And you can see with the world card that you can truly end the difficulties and the differences between you by knowing that both of you have already been through a lot with the Four of Wands. You've grown a lot together. There's a lot that's been going on in this connection. There's a lot of love also. You see the two kissing in both cards. There's a lot of love in this connection. There's a strong connection. There's a strong bond between the two of you. It's just that perhaps for a long time, the needed work hasn't been done. And so it stopped growing and there was a strong stagnation, but it did not take away the fire in this connection. The fire is still there. It just needs to be reignited. And um, interestingly enough, it is reignited th through consistency, through being able to depend on each other's words and promises and the actions that you both decide to take for each other. And it could be reignited through some bold communication, especially communication in the areas that you may have avoided. They need to be spoken about and they need to be spoken about very gracefully. Like no shouting, no screaming, no blaming, but the conversation has to happen calmly between the two of you. And it needs to be something that you both agree on, decide, choose to do. This is the divine guidance for the path to this strong connection, rekindling this beautiful love between the two of you and feeling super blessed in this connection. And mind you, finally ending the troubles uh, that's been going on. Also, there needs to be communication about the things that you both need. Um, both of you have unmet needs and through honest reflection for both of you doing some honest reflection and speaking in a strong way to fix realizing that both of you are strong characters and there needs to be more caution and more patience but slow persistent work you can truly end these difficulties in this connection and begin anew with such strong passion that already exists between the two of you. And I really feel with the lover's card, although it's up to you, I feel like I have a strong feeling that you two want to fix uh, this connection. So you two will choose, I believe, to fix it. But if this choice is made, you can see that the results are super awesome for this connection. Since you are guided to examine something, perhaps I can pull out some cards and ask what is what is it exactly that you're being guided to examine? Perhaps that could help you um, so that it's not that vague since this is one of the important things in your reading. So what are you guided to examine exactly? Ace of Swords. Hmm. Maybe uh, the difficulties have something to do with money as well. Perhaps. Because this does look like a 
businessman reminded me of the Capricorn card, CEO card. So clarity, Ace of Swords is clarity. Being clear about, yeah, dif difficult topics could include finances, perhaps. Being clear also with the CEO, um, who's in charge of what. Um, are you both doing like the laundry together? Or maybe one of you is uh, in charge of paying this and the other par person is in charge of paying that. You know, all of the things that involve the responsibilities that come with the connection. I feel with the Ace of Swords mimicking the Capricorn energy, I feel like things need to be clear. Who's doing what? Who's in charge of what? And to have solid agreements and clarity in this area of responsibility, finances, um, the actions needed to be taken to fix things. Yeah, things like that. More clarity. The hanged man. There seems to be something about some great insecurity. I've noticed it. Because look at this person. It feels like they're falling off from the buildings. Maybe this is parkour. Anyways, you can see someone feeling instability here. Like they don't know where to go. Same thing here. I feel a lot of insecurity in this connection. So there are a lot of fears in this connection that are perhaps what the hangmen are the cause for this connection to pause. Mm. Hangman is related to impasse. Because there is a threat of something falling. And so the relationship at the moment is kind of like pressing on that insecure button. And that's why there also needs to be clarity. There needs to be some talk about the things that are making you afraid. To, that's why you have, again, Capricorn, stability. There needs to be powerful talk about how you can make whatever is causing fear and insecurity more stable. It's one of the important things to be discussed. Seven of Cups. Unmet dreams. There are things that... So there are insecurities and there are things that both of you wish for. That needs to rise and be discussed. So there are a lot of discussions. Perhaps this is why you're being guided to journal. Write it down. So that when it's time to discussion, you're discussing things. Uh, you're able because both of you have dreams. You're allowed to have dreams. Uh, both of you are afraid of some things. These are valid. And it's not about, oh, this is too big. I can't do anything about it. I, I believe through good, clear talks, these things could be resolved. Graceful but powerful talks can really make this work. Uh, there we go. The three of pentacles. So it's really clear. Uh, your divine guidance is. Touch on these points. What do you wish for this connection that are unmet? That both of you are dreaming of? What are the things that you're afraid will happen? These must be discussed clearly. And with the three of pentacles, this is working together. Building a foundation with Capricorn. And building it bit by bit it's obviously something that cannot like be fixed with a swoosh of a wand but it's definitely something that you can pick should you decide with the lover's card to take on that project the you project and start building it little by little realizing that it's not going to happen in one day but the hope and the understanding that both of you want to work towards this to make each other happy it's like both of you against everything else it's not like you against each other it's both of you as a project what are what can we do to make this project great again and working on it building it building the foundation 
and then taking it from there to start building upon the dreams that both of you want and healing that insecurity that both of you have. It looks, see, it, I understand now why you got this. It look, it may appear complicated, but there will always be a thread of truth. I truly understand what this was saying all along. Looking at your reading, there are so many elements and it might look complicated, but it can be completed. It can be absolutely done through good teamwork and good collaboration. And my dear pile number two, this is exactly what I see in your reading. Uh, of your divine guidance on this important romantic connection in your life. I truly wish you the best in this connection. <laughs> and if you've enjoyed your reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And also please note that um, there are now memberships that you can join. If you click on the join button below, I've also left a link first thing in the description box to make it easier for you to find. You become a part of the Soul Family memberships. Uh, you get a badge and a white feather whenever you comment in the comment section or in the live streams. And it's honestly a great way to support me. Uh, to be able to do what I do for you guys uh, and for me too. I love doing this for you. I love doing this every day. So thank you for giving me this opportunity and thank you for everyone who has chosen to support me in this way. I truly appreciate it. It does make a big difference. Sending you my best wishes on this connection, my dear pile number two. I know you're going to make it because your divine guidance says you're going to make it and it just takes a building little by little. And remember, Little by little, a little becomes a lot. Sending you guys so much love and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. Your crystal is the beautiful Lapis Lazuli. I feel this card. Uh, your card is the Two of Swords. And if you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs are Virgo, Capricorn, Capricorn, Leo, and Aquarius. Welcome to your reading. If these are not your zodiac signs, please don't worry about them. They are not the official signs of this pile. They are simply a way for others to pick their pile uh, or piles as well. Okay, so today we're taking a look at your divine guidance. Ooh. Uh, about an important romantic connection um, in your life. Okay, so let's pull out your card and see what you have. So you have feel. <laughs> it's important to feel your emotions, even if you feel like you understand them. Mm. So even if you understand why you're going through what you're going through, it's, it's equally important to feel them, to, to experience them, to feel them. Mm. I kind of get a sense that your emotions are valid with the Two of Swords and this Feel card, to be honest. It's like there's some confusion and um, maybe you understand the situation so much you understand maybe why the other person is doing what they're doing whatever this is your first guidance is what you're feeling is valid and you have the right to feel what you feel you have the isa rune with blockage sta stasis and clarity and you have saturn with the keyword discipline. Other keywords are structure, responsibility, Saturday, Capricorn, restriction, obstacles, trials, hard work, self-discipline, integrity, and patience. Okay. And you have unconditional love. So nice. Okay, so let's pull out your tarot cards because other than what I've seen here, I'm not really sure what's going on yet. Oi. Oh no, really? I think you don't know either. <laughs> With the two of swords coming up twice. 
I think you, even you don't know what's going on here. So let's find out together, my dear pile number three, what's going on in this connection and what is your divine guidance on this connection? So you have the seven of pentacles. The page of swords. The nine of swords. The death card. And the king of pentacles. Let's stop there for now. And then continue once we get a grasp of the situation. There's so much unknown here. Blockage. The two of swords. Perhaps you are inquiring about someone that you've ended things with. Or maybe you are in a break. Maybe you're not talking to each other. I really think this is what's going on here. I think you are inquiring about a romantic connection where you've either ended things or you're not talking to each other so you don't know what's going on. Something has ended here. And with the Saturn card, it seems like you are going through, uh, obviously, a great difficulty. Uh, when I saw structure, I heard restructure. So maybe um, this is a time where a lot of restructuring needs to happen in this connection. Yes, blockage, you can't see what the other person's thinking. They can't see what you're thinking. And you have a lot of emotions. There are things that are upsetting you. They, you have fears and they're all valid. Uh, and your guides are saying, don't just focus on maybe the rights of the other person or the, uh, what the other person is feeling. There is, for one reason or the other, guidance that what you're feeling is valid. Don't like override it. Don't overlook it. And it is genuinely a time to give yourself a lot of love, although it is difficult. And you can see here with the Two of Swords, not seeing ahead with the Seven of Pentacles. I, I want to, I, I will tell you the truth in what I'm seeing. That it seems like this connection will take time to pick back up. With the Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. I feel like, although it's going to take some time, the Seven of Pentacles is a great card that says, as time goes by, uh, the more time goes by, the more things are working or building for you or happening for you. So the silence and the time away, although may look on the surface as um, unproductive, but really... The, the time alone and the rest, the space, is actually helping to build this connection in a good way with the Seven of Pentacles. Because after all these cards, when I saw the King of Pentacles, I was like, what? How can we see these cards and then see the King of Pentacles, which is a card of great stability and strength? So... I think this is a time away where both of you with the Page of Swords get to pick up your thoughts, think about what's going on, think about what happened. Um, and that's why this is a time for you to validate your, like to validate in front of yourself your emotions, to say, yes, what I, what I feel is valid. And um, you shouldn't like disregard it just because there's time away and during that time maybe you want things to re you want to reconnect but i feel like although it feels difficult you want to discipline yourself to perhaps stay where you are maybe you're setting boundaries could be or you are setting boundaries in that case that's why the 7 of pentacles is very beneficial i think this is talking about you ah i get it 
that's why you have unconditional love. To love yourself unconditionally. To realize that the things that you are feeling are valid. Maybe this is a person who was pushing their boundaries. That's why both of you are going to think, okay, I, I, tr I truly get what's going on here. So things have ended. You're in a lot of pain. You feel upset. And most importantly, with the Nine of Swords, you're anxious or worried about how things are going to go. And that's natural when you both don't know what's going on in each other's world. But your divine guidance is to respect your emotions, what you feel is valid, and to love yourself unconditionally. And this is a time where you want to take good care of yourself. And although it is difficult, you must have the self-discipline discipline and the patience to set the proper boundaries. That's unconditional love. It's not like um, um, this is truly giving to yourself. Not blaming yourself, not judging yourself. It's a time where you want to be kind to yourself. Um, and to say, yes, I understand that I'm feeling the pain of not being in this connection, but I come first. And it's a time to show yourself that you are important and worthy. And it's a time where you, yourself will see you loving yourself. And so, although you can't see ahead and you don't know when, being patient is day by day building that boundary for you because you're allowing yourself to think clearly of how things were working, perhaps picking up on the, on the things that went wrong and going, yeah, how did that go wrong? How did I let this go how did i let this pass that's not right and i was wrong in this area i shouldn't have done that i shouldn't have talked like that i shouldn't have said this these are also wrong i'll keep them as strong notes to make sure that next time i don't behave in that way and so on and so forth and the other person is also thinking yeah well now that they don't have access they're thinking yeah well i did maybe um like do this and do that and that wasn't right or appropriate i shouldn't have gone that far you know each one gets the time to pick up on their thoughts and reflect from that time away and this is why this is very a very productive time to build this connection although away and you know saturn has a bad reputation i i always tell you guys this it's difficult times that helps you grow, always leading you to what you wanted. So having Saturn in your reading really says that although it feels difficult now, this is definitely benefiting, benefiting the both of you for a more stable, solid connection, uh, abundant connection as well in the future. Okay, so now that we have the main idea, let's pull out the rest of your tarot cards. You have the Page of Cups. I think there is going to be an apology here. Um, if you, your guidance here, if you are patient and disciplined towards yourself, towards um, validating your own emotions and your own rights, since it seems like um, this person might have really hurt you or they have crossed their boundaries. There is going to be uh, a bonding again. You're going to bond with this person again. There seems to be, they will be reaching out to you with love, perhaps with offering an apology. You have the two of wands. Seven of cups. Queen of Cups and let's take these two cards you have the Knight of Swords hmm. and the High Priestess Let's read what the Two of Swords says here. Let's read the poem 
of the Two of Swords. I'm so interested in what the poem says. Juxtapose. I'm going to check what that means. <laughs> so it says, two paths diverge from the original plan. Two choices with uncertain strands. I'm not saying it will, but it certainly can. Change your life for as long as you stand. I'm getting uh, a strong idea of standing tall. I'm not like um, translating it literally, of course. I'm translating it energetically of what I'm understanding based on your reading and your card. So as long as you stand tall, you can change the situation. Right now, there are two paths. And should you choose to be disciplined, then it's going to go towards one direction and not the other. So it can, should you choose to stand your ground. So that's why you have the high priestess and you have the two of wands, you know. It, it, the energy has not been formed because it's all up to you, um, up to what you do and up to what they do. But you can see that... If you choose one path over the other, things will change completely. One path, who knows will, what it would lead to, maybe an undesired outcome. But your divine guidance seems to be pointing towards self-discipline, which will keep you stable during that uh, unsettled time and may just be forming in the direction that you're really hoping for with the Seven of Cups. I feel with the Queen of Cups, this will, you will be able to set ground on what your value and what your worth is really with the Queen of Cups here. Um, Queen of Cups shows that they will be seeing you as very loving, but also as very poised and graceful. That um, they will understand that there is another element to you it's not just love and care and um, giving, but also there is class, there is groundedness, there is strength where, yes, you want to share your love, but at the same time, you're not going to be treated like that. Sorry, <laughs> I just uh, uh, wanted to clear it out. Okay, so ah, this is saying that the mystery this time behind your groundedness during this unstable time. The mystery, you see, this person's like wondering, that it's covered. What are you up to? So much secrecy. This, the, the, the mystery behind this not seeing, which is all over your reading, seems to be playing a very important role uh, in your connection at this time. So what do your guides want to say about this mystery? Because the opposite energy here is you uh, performing and on all eyes on you. Could it be saying that everyone can see you except them, maybe? Um, or the contrast between how it was so easy to see you and to how they can't see you now? seems to be important here not sure why this is spiritual guidance though let me think maybe uh, not taking you for granted the mystery is allowing them to realize how something uh, how someone was so easy to deal with is suddenly uh, not there so it's like the contrast between the two sides of you, 
will make this person understand and realize that there are two sides of you. A side that is absolutely kind, accessible, easy to deal with, and a side of you that respects their boundaries so much, so much so that suddenly what was super accessible is becoming non not accessible at all. And this contrast will, will clearly show how you love and respect yourself and how, while you're kind, you're not going to be taking, taken for granted. And that silence, you see, that silence will be the spoken word with the Knight of Swords. Your silence will be louder than anything that could be said with the Knight of Swords. Your silence will be your defender with the Knight of Swords. And it will speak clearly without uh, any like unfairness or any fights or uh, arguments or anything without trying left, right, and center to set your boundaries, will be cl speaking clearly about what you deserve and what you do not deserve. Because it seems here that this person really upset you with the Knight of Swords. And so it's important to set boundaries. You know, maybe this is a wonderful person who, you know, has done a mistake like we all do mistakes, um, but is persistent at it, doesn't seem to yet realize or understand how this hurts you so much. And by setting boundaries like that, this person will realize, will go, oh, maybe I did, I did cross the line. Maybe this is really bad. I shouldn't have done that. And it will bring clarity with the Issa rune to this situation. And so it could be your loudest voice now. And you can see with the King of Pentacles that this will lead to a stronger, more, more stable connection because you know, if we have the King of Pentacles here, it means that this person may not necessarily be bad at all, but is just doesn't realize how much they could be hurting you with what they're doing. And I think this will really, as we've understood here from the Page of Swords, pick their thoughts and go, ah, maybe I've just done, I was over the top. Maybe I've, maybe this does hurt, you know, let me think. I mean, if the other person has done it to me, I will be hurt. Um, maybe I've overdid this. You know, they're picking up their thoughts and thinking truthfully with the Page of Swords clearly. And this break will be your biggest defender. My dear pile number three. And this is exactly what I see in your reading. I wish you all the best of luck in this connection. My heart is with you, my dear pile number three. You got this. <laughs> this was your reading. And if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And my dear pile number three, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye.